hi guys good morning good afternoon good evening wherever you are and whenever you're watching this video so i recently saw a youtube post by one of my favorite youtubers kim dave about you know 10 ways to upcycle scrap fabrics and i decided to try out some of the ideas that she had one of which was the beret and i currently don't have one and i have this leftover mustard and navy blue fabric so i decided to try I decided to use it to make a bearer so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you create it so I make a reversible bearer that you can wear either way so you can either wear the blue or the yellow so it's like having a two-in-one bearer so yes I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we create this look please don't forget to subscribe like and leave your comment below thank you so much so to start you need a piece of paper you can use a newspaper or this I just found this paper from some of our packages so I'll fold it in half like this and fold it again like this because I'm trying to create a circle. So I want the diameter of my circle to, to be 12 inches. So I'm going to use, so I need to get the radius. So the radius is just diameter divided by two, that's six inches. So I'll go in and mark six inches all around from this point. So you get a diameter of 12 inches. So just... If you have a compass, that would be perfect for this, but I don't have that. If you have a bowl that is 12 inches. So I'll go in and cut this out. So yeah, we have our 12 inches diameter circle. And then to get my second pattern, I'll go in here. So because I want the beret to be white, I can wear it over my braids and over my wig. I'm going to be using a radius of 3.5 to get the circumference of the beret, like the opening. So I'll just go in here and mark 3.5 all the way. And I'll cut it open. So I have my beret pattern. And for the edge of the beret, you just need to cut a white a white rectangular strip about three inches long and the length of your head circumference so that's it so next i'll go ahead and just draw a straight line across this point just draw a line here and a line here these will serve as, as my notches and i'll draw another line here so this will just serve as my notches so our pattern's ready, it's time to cut out the fabric. Pin this down and cut this out without cutting out the circle, without cutting out the inner bit, just cut out the circle, a full circle. this and out cut out one half here and cut out the other half on the yellow fabric so cut out all pattern pieces I've cut out the two full circles and the two circles with space in the middle and my two triangle my two rectangular strips so now it's time to sew so basically you need to pin all your pattern pieces together then i will join both sides both the blue and the yellow together for the edge of our berry so i'll go ahead now and sew Go ahead and give it a good press. So next, I'm going to turn this back inside out. And then I'll place this. So turn this inside out, left side facing out. Then this, right side facing out. 
put it inside the inside the first piece and then go ahead match your notches and go ahead to sew but when sewing leave like a three inch space gap because that's what you use to turn it out so just pin it down match your notches and sew go ahead there can you use a needle and thread to just sew this together hand needle and thread but since i'm still going to go ahead to put a band i will just use my sewing machine to sew it since the band will cover that up so i'll go ahead now and give this a good press then we'll prepare our band so to make the band just going to sew together give it a good press but press it this way because they are for two separate parts so just press it down like this don't press it down flat press it down like this so after ironing i'll go in here and just pin all the way and pin it around So just make sure you have the right width for your band and then I'll go ahead and sew this down. So after pinning it down, sew it around. So after joining this side, you go ahead, turn it on the turn it to the other side and then we'll sew it, just fold it. You can go ahead to iron it flat just fold it nicely and sew like this so sew really close to the edge i'll change it to the blue thread so since i'm sewing on the blue fabric now I'll just sew it this way so i'll pin it down and show you guys so i've pinned it down i'll go ahead sew an hour reversible barrier is ready that's it so it was just sew around so as close to the edge as possible and when i'm sewing because i'm sewing on the blue i'll try to make sure it shows on the blue of the other side not on the yellow bit because i'm going to be using blue thread and that's it we're done i'll sew it now and show you guys the finished product we've come to the end of this tutorial and i must say i'm really happy with the results so this is our navy blue and mustard berry and you know it's just really stylish i really like it you can wear it anyway and i think i'm obsessed with this and you guys definitely be seeing this in a lot of my videos upcoming videos so yes this is it can wear the other way like this can style it anywhere i can wear it this way and just bend it to the side so i think if i'm going to make another one i want this to be like full as i might make the diameter of the circle bigger so yeah well done so thanks for watching guys don't forget to like subscribe and leave a comment below take care of yourselves wash your hands and stay safe